Hey guys, it's Redemption 9 here and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Today, we are not going to the top of the map and we're not going to be doing the Stealing Moonshine mission because we already did that last episode. So today, we are actually going to do the Professor's next mission and talk to the police chief so we can test an electric chair on someone. Because that is totally the normal thing you should be doing ever. Like testing an electric chair. Though I suppose it's got to be tested on someone to see if it actually works. So uh, yeah, let's get a move on. Yeah, so I'll go talk to the police chief right now for you. Even though it's totally not a normal request. Though we have given him a few bounties over time. So I'm surely he'll be sort of be like, yeah, you can do it. And I'll be like, yeah, okay, fine. Is something wrong? Right. I wonder if we'll find anyone who wants help. Like another stranger. I like strangers. See what I mean? Hang on. How come I lost honor? I didn't shoot the fucker. No, no, no. That's actually quite sad. Where are you? Where are you taking? I, I, I'm i gonna sort of follow this guy. Though I am tempted to reload the save because I've only just saved before starting the episode. So it's like I could save and save her. Though I lost honor before I even knew what was happening. Is he gonna put her on that horse and just ride off? Right, okay, let's, let's go back, let's rewind a bit, and let's see if we can save her. Where are we? Let's go back this one. Yes, please. Oh, I'm in a totally different place. <gasps> you spawned me in a totally different place. Right, where was it? It was on the corner. It was, the, the, where did I start? I started there. Right, let's start here. Let's go back to where we were. There's a fucking fence in the way. Hey, move it. Right, so we went down here. Let's get the gun out first. So I went up here, went up here. The thing is, if it, now that I've reloaded, they might not even spawn in. I'm hoping they do. There's that guy again. We went down here. And they're on this corner. Oh no. They're not there this time. Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on. That is entirely depressing now. I did all that just to try and save her. And they're not even there. They didn't even have the decency to spawn in this time. Do you mind? Please be careful. You'll, you be fucking careful. Not bad. I wonder if we'll encounter them again in a different place. There will probably be different people. So, yeah. But, oh god, I wish I knew what was happening before it happened. Well, I did when I reloaded, but, you know, it's like, so sad. I could have, I lost honour, that's the p thing that pissed me off. I didn't even know what was going on, and yet I lost honour. It's like, I didn't do it. I shot the guy that did it. Surely I should get honour for doing that, but no, you let someone die. Even though I didn't know what was going on, you know, whatever. Hello everyone. Hello. Right, it's in here. Is it even open? Is he awake? Hope it is awake. 
Is there any notices? No? Get permission to demonstrate electric chair. You know, it's just a normal thing to do. Hello. Ask. Let's ask. Let's be polite. I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine. An electric chair. And he uh, wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit. But it's going to cost you $100 in fees. Can we negotiate? Oh, yeah. This will save you money in the long run, and uh, it'll save the condemned a whole lot of pain. That remains to be seen, but I'll give you a permit for fifty. Yeah, okay, that sounds reasonable. I don't. Need, I, I would have paid a hundred, but the the offer to negotiate was there, so I took it. Yeah, sure. It's not like I couldn't afford it either. Well, Depending on the usual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatching. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. Oh, okay. You just got a permit for that line about? Any bounty posters? It would show up, wouldn't it? What's this? Yeah, I'm looking at this. Is this like the bounty wall of fame? Must be. Right, let's go back. It's raining now. Looks good in rain. Right, there he is. Have I noticed this before? Restricted area? I don't think I've noticed that before. That's new. Right, it's now raining though. And it's windy. It's like a blizzard. Oh, look at the rain coming off that awning. <gasps> Such detail. I mean, look at it. Oh my god. It looks so good. I know it's like the tiniest thing, but it looks so good. Right, we gotta go. We gotta go and get out of this place. And it really is like a blizzard. Wow. A storm. Very stormy day. At night. Very stormy night. A day, yeah, sure, whatever. What time is it? It's five twenty in the morning. I'm an hour late. Right, Mr. Professor Geezer, I have a permit. I don't know where we're gonna find a person. Oh, that's wow! It gets like quick in this place. Gets light really quick. Ah, uh, hello, friend. Hello, Professor. Professor Andrew Bell the Third. That's it. So, the chief says you can test out your machine uh, vending the usual formalities. And what are they? Uh, finding a suitable uh, subject. Ah, funny you should mention. And this fellow here, he seems sturdy enough, and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels, wanted for murder, bigamy, and immoral animal husbandry. What's that? The mind shudders. Here, find him for me and help me put him out of his misery. I mean, you say that, you make it sound so easy, but I'm shit at capturing people alive. Where is he? You're taking the piss, mate. You're taking the piss sometimes. Gotta go all that way. It's gonna take you to the end of the episode. And plus I might find something else along the way. God, I'll I'll be back in like two episodes, maybe three. Maybe five, I dunno. Could be years again. Oh god, look at the mountains. It looks so good during the day. This game though just looks so good even after like three years this game came out in 2018 19 came out 
a few years back and it still looks beautiful. Looks so good. Hello. Hey there, My dead eye is so fucked. Have we got anything to do with all three? Let's see, yeah, yeah, three, all three will do. Playing game, that'll do. Then I need to do the outside. Miracle tonic opened. Yeah, I do. How's Humphrey? Humphrey, he's alright. Uh, but let's give him something. Oh, oh cakes. Yeah, there we go. Good girl. He's saying good girl. I thought Humphrey was a boy. But obviously not. What's going on over here? There we go. go away. Just studying your horse, mate. Diffuse. Why are you so hostile? I'm only being friendly, but you're like, nah, fuck off, I'll sh fucking shoot you. What the hell was that? What is that? Is that a snapping turtle thing? I think he's dead. Alligator snapping turtle, skin it. Reptile meat. I can pick it up. What can I do with it though? I can. I can. Can I give this to camp? Oh, camp's too far away. Fuck that. Where's Humphrey gone? What are you doing over there? Weirdo. Come on, get on the horse. There, there, there we go. Yep. At least I, uh, oh, what's this? I just seem to be going around helping people and I'm not complaining. Hello. I'm going to help you. I don't know what happened to you, but I'm going to help you. Looks like he's been involved in a fire. What happened to your arm? I know I just left um, St. Dennis, but I'm coming back on urgent business. This man is dying. If he had a health bar, I'm pretty sure it'd say 5%. Or 5 out of 100, or whatever. Come on, Humphrey. Faster, faster. This man needs a doctor. Now the doctor's probably going to be like, oh, he's dead. Even though it's probably a simple infection, he's like, dead. Just kill him. Put him down. Because that's what doctors were like in the past. Oh, you lost your fingernail. Fucking, you're dying, mate. You're dying. Oh, we could try this guy on the electric chair. I know that sounds awful, but he's almost dead anyway. Sure he wouldn't mind. God, I'm so mean, aren't I? I'm just like, this guy's already dying, so we may as well just put him out of his misery. I know. Electric chair or doctor, what would you prefer? He's like, what's an electric chair? I'm like, it's a chair where it gives you a massage and you don't feel much. God, move out of the way. We're in the way. Yeah, you probably lost your arm. Come on, come on. Remove stranger, come on. Yeah, this guy's dying. I didn't kill him. He just fell off a horse. He just walked through the door.
He's already got his saw out, ready to chop off the arm. What happened? Just saw you fall out of the saddle. Don't worry, you're at the doctor. Thanks, friend. I appreciate it. Sure. There's also the matter of my payment. But we'll deal with that later. All right. All right. A lot of blood loss. This wound's badly infected. I'll save as much as I can, but... I'll have to amputate. What? What did you say? Just try to breathe. Uh, I'll give you something for the pain. No. Uh, there you are. Then I'll knock him out for a while. You did a good thing bringing him here. But now, I'd recommend moving along. <clears throat> you do not want to see this. I do. Let me get a better angle. Sorry, it's come to this. Oh. oh He's looking at me all seductively like you like this, don't you? And I'm like, oh don't look at me like that. It's already weird enough. Oh my god. Is this Oh He's lost his arm. Can I show this? I'm gonna show it anyway. There's a school there, so, you know, what's the difference? This is medical history right here. Do you, oh, Mr. Joke, do you need a hand doc? Well, you're in a bad way. But you'll pull through. I think you could have saved the arm, just treat the infection, you know. Right, okay, this is getting awkward. I'm I'm going. What's through this door? Nothing. That was good work, doctor. Yeah. He's lucky. Wounds like that'll kill you if you aren't careful. He's lucky he just lost the arm. It's nice of you to stay, but don't fret. He'll make it. I was just here for the content. I'm off now. Now there's nothing happening. Oh, that's so friend. bad. All we can do now is hope for the best. I think my morals in this series are being thoroughly tested, because I'm like, I want to kill kids. That I think that's obvious by now. I just want kids to die by shooting them, and I'm willing to watch a man's arm being cut off for content. My morals are definitely being tested, and I'm not doing great. Right, we gotta go up north. I mean, we're going there. Oh, who said what the hell? Got some more stuff for me? No? Okay, bye. But yeah, we're heading up north and then we got distracted by that guy. And we basically, we're making little progress, but doing so many missions at the same time. I love it though. I'm not complaining. We've, we've been doing it for the past 101 episodes, because it's like episode 102. But you know, that's what that's what I did in Skyrim. I spent two hundred episodes pretty much wandering around, seeing what I could find. And there's probably like fifty episodes worth of story, the rest were just random shit I got up to. It's great. The more the merrier. Right, how far away are we? Right, we're definitely not going to make it this episode, and we're definitely not going to pick up the bounty this episode. I'll get as far as I can, but yeah, I don't really have high hopes for doing anything else this episode. Unless we meet someone else along the way, which is a high possibility, because that's what always seems to happen. Ah, it's one of these again. Vicious little bastards. Though you can run over them with a horse, so I suppose that's good. Come on, Humphrey, you're so slow going over wood. It's getting foggy again. There's a rainbow over there, though. Nice little rainbow. Hello. 
What's my honor at now? Slowly going up. Which is good. I think there's a farm there. Oh. There's wolves on the horizon. Don't worry, I've got ya. And I'll also skin the wolf. Oh shit, I've got to carry this skin now, haven't I? Oh, I forgot about that. Uh, why you got so zoomed in? Poor. Oh, may as well drop it. You're right, mate. Do we get a reward? Wow, don't even get anything. Right, this was a headshot, so this should be a good wolf skin. Shouldn't it? It looks so fluffy. And yet so gross at the same time, you know. Why oh, we got to zoom in? Oh, it's good. Oh, I've got no space. I'm just taking another shit. I don't really want the skin either. Let's go, girl. Right, are we any closer? Because, we, we, yeah, we're not. We're not any closer. God's sake. I'm just leaving them there. I know it's a waste, but I'm not going back to camp anytime soon. And by the time I get there, they'll be mouldy and horrible. Plus, I don't even know what you'd need to do with them. Right, i got to go down here. Come on, Humphrey. Hello. Hey, friend. It's nice to meet you up here. Did I just hear a gunshot? Don't know. What's that place over there? Is that Valentine? I oh, know it's Emerald Ranch. Keep looking out for just anything. And there's nothing. It's so peaceful. Yep. I mean, look at those mountains. They look so beautiful. I thought there was a building site there, but it's just plants, flowers. Are we any closer? Are we close? Are we uh, there? We're not there yet. We're almost there, but we've got a bit to go. Yeah. Right, if I follow the track, he should be on the track. Oh no. Yes, but no. Just need to watch out for a train. We came by this lake years ago, didn't we? Episodes ago. Here's the photography. What? What's the red thing on the map? I hear something. What is over there? The compass doesn't know what's going on. Oh, oh you're on about up there. That thing up there. Is that what? What are they? What are they, please? Can you get binoculars out, please? Huh. Okay, I think they might be his bodyguard, you know. So we're just going to go down here a bit and end the episode because that looks like one hell of a firefight. Actually, we're going to go up on this rock because that'll make a good ending. 
Oh, don't go off the edge. I did click break, but you were just like, no, I'll go really close to the edge. Goddamn horse. What's that down there? They look like deer. But yeah, as we look across this beautiful land and just... You can see the mountains in the distance and it's just like, wow. We'll end the episode here because next episode, we've got a fight on our hands. Definitely got a fight on our hands. So yeah, that is it for this episode, guys. And I'll see you next time for more Red Dead Redemption 2. Bye.